in this establishment. Not right now. Hey, listen. The owner probably can be for chasing customers, but I don't think a lady like you belongs in a dive like this, you know? Now, that's very odd, because a friend of mine told me that this is exactly where I should be, at the crossroads. Tell me what's so funny. Sorry, I just have a hard time seeing you with a friend that would hang out here. We cater mostly to locals, toss a few truck drivers. Not exactly your kind of crowd. You might be surprised to find out some of the places I have hung out at in my time. Okay, so what will it be? How special? Boiler maker? That's a shot of whiskey. I know what a boiler maker is. And you'll pass, right? If you want a champagne cocktail, we're fresh out of bubble. Are you always this obnoxious, or are you just working on it? Well, it depends on the company. Some say I have a natural flair, along with a few other talents. Which would be? Make a hell of a drink. Here's a practice. So? Okay. You know what today calls for? A martini. Ah, one of those days, huh? Is that why you're out wandering? Yeah, you might say. But actually, the martini is... Uh, it's a gesture to a friend. Whatever. One martini coming up. Straight up? Oh, yes. And so dry that the vermouth barely breathes on the jet. Naturally. Can you tell me where the fork in the road goes? Yeah, a few twists and turns. It'll probably take you anywhere you want to go. A philosopher. A professional bartender. We are required to sound that way. Seriously, do you know where the road goes? Philadelphia, eventually. Oh. And what about the other one? The other one? There's nothing that way except the banded factory used to make typewriters. Of course, you're too young to remember typewriters. And gallant. <laughs> What about beyond that? Well, beyond that, you wind up in an entirely different era. Horses and buggies, and simple living. The Amish country? But you can't go beyond that. Why not? The bridge is out. Yeah, a lot of perils if you take that other fork. You made the right choice. Why did you say that? What? About me making a choice. I don't know, just small talk, I guess. Why? There's no olive in this martini. Yeah, I uh, ran out, and I don't know where Marie keeps the supply. Marie? The owner. Thought you'd been tending bar for a long time. I have, just not here. So what you said about the road? Could be true. Who knows? There's no bridge out. There's no factory. No typewriters. I uh, couldn't really say. I've never been down that road before. That's your drink. I don't really like martinis. Then why'd you order one? It's gonna sound odd. <laughs> you being here at all is pretty odd. What's going on? The friend that I mentioned to you before said that I belonged at the crossroads. This is in his memory. Memory? He's gone? Yeah. He died on the Universal flight that crashed a few days ago. He was an alcoholic who was staying sober. But he never, ever lost his appreciation for Jim. He was a very special man. And it hurts. Yeah, yeah I know. 
know about that. about this place because I still can't see you with any of our regulars I'm going to tell you but I rather doubt you'll believe me well why don't you tell me and see what happens I had a dream I had a dream that I was at the crossroads right out there and then I found it whoa I told you but it is actually the truth you had a dream mm -hmm. I had more than one dream I had a recurring dream and I kept finding myself at this crossroads that I had never seen before. And then tonight I was out just driving around. There it was. You hitting on me, Blondie? Does it look like I am? You never know. A man of my considerable charms. And you never say anything serious. Heck no. That'll get you in all kinds of trouble. I don't need any trouble. Okay, uh, we've been talking for a while, but I don't know your name. That's funny, I knew yours right away. Mine's Ben. Ben what? Just Ben. Man of charm, man of mystery. Well, everybody loves a mystery. Right, Blondie? Right. Just Ben. Figure out why your dreams sent you here? Seems to me your dreams would have better taste. No, I haven't a clue. I expect I'm making too much out of it anyway. After all, it is only a dream, right? That's my supposition. Ah, you have a son. Oh, dear. Now, you see, I've gone and lost some of my mystery. Gotcha. And that's not fair, because you still have all of yours. So, what do you think it's telling you it's only a dream? Did I have a choice to make? But you don't know what? No, not yet. I expect I'll figure it out when the time comes, and we'll make it. I bet you're pretty good at making choices. Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Unfortunately, I don't always make the right ones. Yeah, well, I can relate to that. What do I owe you, please? For the martini, nothing. You didn't drink it. The peanuts, they're five bucks. <laughs> hey, look, don't go yet. You're the only thing keeping me awake. Hey, have a check, please? Yeah, um, just hang on a minute, okay? My wallet. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Here, let me help you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? This place has been hit lately. I get nervous out here all alone. Don't touch me. Okay, okay, look. Leave me alone. Drinks around the house, okay? No hard feelings. Leave me alone. Sorry. Blondie. Both. Sorry, Junior. I'm a good tipper. Blonde, I knew you wouldn't walk out of me like that. Not with so much mystery between us. You're right. I couldn't leave. My car won't start. 